Rugby Union International of them all. You know, when this uh, game was first played at Rayburn Place in Edinburgh on the 27th of March 1871, it was bright and sunny then, but the crowd numbered only 4,000. Today, for this 10th Save and Prosper International, the 98th for the Calcutta Cup, Twickenham is packed to its capacity of 59,500, and the conditions, as we've heard, are absolutely perfect. Will Carling leads England for the 15th time, and the same 15 as beat Wales 25-6 a month ago. 12 played at Murrayfield a year ago. Will that fast-back division be ignited more often than at Cardiff? And can that juggernaut pack quell the fires of their speedy rival? Now, of course, the boot of Simon Hodgkinson, needing three points for his 150 in internationals. The 32-12 win over Wales, Ken Milne at hooker for the 15th time. Only Alex Moore didn't play in the 13-7 win over England last March. The forwards know they'll have to G their gingers at the set pieces, but they present impressive back mobility. The skipper is David Soul in his 31st international. The cup assignment. We're all set to go. Scotland have won the toss. And Craig Chalmers gets the game going. Immediately, England seemed to have won the ball from the restart. And Hill has it. Rob Andrew, that's very high up into the sun. Gavin Hastings. Hastings runs into the bulk of the English pack. Paul Ackford was there first. It's an awkward ball for him. The ball just bouncing away from Alec Moore, but he got the touchdown for the dropout. It was a lovely little kick by Hill. He's so artistic at that, the touch there. And look how Alex Moore, he had two or three goes at it. A wee bit lucky. Box Hastings waits, calls for the mark. And very sensibly took off, because uh, if the referee doesn't award the mark, you can finish up under the English road roller. Looking very comfortable on the ball at the moment. They're getting plenty of time, and yet we saw Gary Armstrong there having to work under intense pressure. You know, with the bad tap ball by Damien Cronin. Well, you can see they're only about a couple of metres out. Brian Moore, will he use the tail? No, he held it back, it was meant for Dooley. Yes, it was one of those crafty ones, it almost seemed to have held it, but uh, it's definitely a penalty to the Scots. It almost looked as if offside, breaking a bit too early. And Gavin Hastings kicks very far into open space, across goes Heslop. Heslop was challenged by Moore, put it out in the full. Mark. Hastings, lovely mark, and Derek White is there as well, Derek Turnbull too. Derek Turnbull was in in front, and that's uh, what caused the Englishman to take exception. Andrew to Carling, Carling to Guscott, what a tackle there by Scott Hastings. A superb copybook tackle. And it really is as physical and as furious it can, as it can be in the frontal exchanges there. But just a uh, situation still for England. Hill, Jeffrey has him. That's the kind of ball kicked on by Moore. Moore. And Moore, who used to play soccer out of his body round on the wrong side of the ball. And this surely will be a kick at goal. Of course, a record seven penalty goals, world record against Wales a month ago. Simon Hodgkinson to give England the lead. That's from behind the, the post at the north end. Hodgkinson strokes it very well. Yes, it just sneaked in. It really is quite remarkable how easy he makes it look. Just about 15 minutes gone. England, first blood, 3-0. It may have been something some comment made. I think it must have been for a late tackle by Gary Armstrong that uh, looked at the other referee had let him get away with it, but his attention was brought to it by uh, Brian Sterling, the touch judge on this near side. But in Romania in 89. Hodgkinson. Has he pulled it round again? Yes, it, a magnificent kick once more. Cross-field Gary Owen, 
Guscott is underneath it. Oh, that was a superb catch. Great work there by John Jeffrey, but it was a very good move by the Scots. Gavin Hastings and such a clever kick across the breaking players, and Guscott there never took his eye off it. A great bit of uh, safety work. And then they've had a then that line out, and that's the first two decent bits of set-piece possession that they've had, where they're able to launch the back row and midfield backs. Chalmers, it looked fairly tight, but it was a good two or three metres in, so Craig Chalmers uh, gives the Scots a little bit of uh, confidence back. Brian Moore in his 27th international. Dean Richards took it, half held by White. And Richards certainly got past the game line as he always does. But uh, a penalty to the Scots and Brian Moore. Brian Moore is going to, uh, I think. Yes, he sneaked it in again. Great roll. Portland into the lead. He's given it a big enough thump. But it's just outside that right-hand post. It's Chalmers, the switch to Lenin. Lenin, back into the forwards. Jeffrey drives on, caught there by Dooley. And the Scots... Penalty against the Scots. Going through offside, was it? England seemed to have won one against the head, and that was a very useful scrummage for England. Rob Andrew... Not Rich Hill, out to Andrew, great chance here as Carling goes, beautiful ball out to Underwood, Underwood caught by Stanger, out there to Hodgkinson, Scott Hastings has been penalised for a deliberate knock-on, deliberate knock-forward, but it was a lovely English move, and uh, in a way, the way they worked it, it deserved a try. Cut inside, and then Hodgkinson took the pass, now this was the one there, you see Scott Hastings put a hand out to it, you often wonder what a player can do, Bill, in a situation like that. I think it's Nottingham. There's a study in concentration for you against the bank of the stand there. Hodgkinson, oh, it looks like another beauty. What a lovely kick. Nine points to six, England lead. High by England's forwards, Teague is the last man there, helped by Ackford. Then the kick by Hill again, bit too far that time. Hastings, looking for the space, Rory Underwood is there. Underwood. Rob Andrew decided that uh, the best thing to do to uh, encourage him in this effort to make the uh, points difference six. Hodgkinson. Yes, he gave that a bit more of a neck as he cleared it. Just short. Gavin Hastings. This is out in the need to Gavin Hastings. Out to Moore. Passes a bit high for Moore. And this is great stuff by Hislop. The two wings. Rory Underwood away. Chased there by Tumble. The feed on to Moore. Out there to Hill. Hill to Hislop. Hislop, the right winger over here on the left. And eventually put down. By believe it or not, Chris Gray. And Ken Milne. What a marvellous bit of running by... Jeff Probin trying to wrestle on. This is good English forward play. Now it's Hill. A great chance here, Andrew. Carling going. Carling half through. Just got past Linnin. The pick-up by Hill. He's caught by Tumble. It was a very important tackle for the Scots, that one by Tumble. But England have still won a useful ball out to Rob Andrew. He thought of the drop goal, but he changed his mind. And another lovely kick by Andrew. Ken Milne, so difficult to know where to throw it here. But he decided to go for duly a huge jump. This is Andrew Carling on to Guscott. The Scots close so quickly. Jeffrey and Turnbull both up there. Derek White as well. 
Hill. Hill trying the drop goal. Well, it was on. I remember Gordon Connell, the Scottish scrum half, once dropping a goal from almost under the bar. Hill made the little dart. England again rolling. The Scots are having a job to stop them. Keep going. A very good copybook tackle, so important there for the Scots. Now it's Hill. Andrew feeding inside to Richard. Richard. Winterbottom. Another tackle by Jeffrey. Out to Andrew along the line to Guska. Guska to Hodgkinson. Hesler. Hesler has scored. The crowd are delirious there. The whole of Twickenham on its feet. Nigel Hesler with his second try for England. His first in the championship. And England are stretching away. Seven points in it now. They played just three minutes and it was as good as this. Guskett, and it was Hodgkinson coming into the line that made it. That lovely long pass off his left hand gave Hesler just enough room to get past Moore. A very good try. The work had been done by the England forwards that sucked in the Scottish back row. And here we see a lovely pass by Simon Hodgkinson. Copy books right in front of Nigel Hadlock. He didn't have to check his stride. He's outside Moore. He'll be pleased with that one. Yes, three penalty goals to his credit already. And it looks as if he's pulled in a conversion. That's another masterly kick. He really is quite extraordinary, this slim little fellow from Nottingham. Superb kicking by him. 15 points to six, England lead. Five minutes of the second half gone. Four out of five for Hodgkinson. What an artist. Carling. Carling well caught. Lenin with the tackle, first of all. But again on Scotland's 22. Hill once more, England winning all the ball. And Rob Andrew once again, look at that. Tony Stanger takes it. Inside to John Jeffrey, but his foot was in touch. And good tackle by, yes, Scott Hastings once again. But it's all England at the moment. Scotland are being starved of ball. And without the ball, you just have to tackle. Important impact. Free kick for delay. And all at the green yards will be holding their breath here. Chalmers trying to pull it round. And it's there. Clit bar delivery there. Andrew, again, a massive... Gary Owen, Gavin Hastings, tackled there by Carling, but the free kick is given for the mark. Turnbull, Hill once more, Andrew, and Andrew sending England back up into the Scottish 22, another pinpoint placement. What a performance with his right boot by Roberts. Alex Moore, in comes Rory Underwood. Underwood tackled by Moore. But a very good bit of covering by the England left wing. Well tackled by Gary Armstrong. In goes Cronin. The ball was clear, says the referee. And so no offside decision. Hill, however, may just have knocked that on. A great tackle by Andrew. Moore is back there. So both the Moores in contention. Wade Dooley, I think it was, uh, took exception there to a Scot on the wrong side. But it's a penalty to Scotland anyway. And they've opted for the kick at goal. These are the two big men who've given England such an advantage at the line. -in. Wade Dooley, hands on head. And Paul Ackford, stand. You'll see the great serried faces in front of him. But it doesn't put him off. Chalmers' his fourth penalty goal has cut the leeway to just three points. The son. And the Scots, I think, will want to catch it if they can. Rather than thumb it, using the tail, taken by Cronin. Armstrong got it, but there was shoving at the line out. But it would... Oh. Well, now, Damien Cronin was in his normal position, but Chris Gray managed to pinch it. But it may have been knocked forward, let's see. Oh, no, it's a free kick. Moore and Probin rolling. 
fatigue is in there as well. But the Scots have managed to prevent the roll. But nonetheless, it's England, England. The Scots got a bit of a shove on Hill to Andrew. Andrew with the drop goal. But it's pushed wide. And a penalty for offside. And it's right in front of the Scottish posts. So the Scots over anxious. They must have felt the chance of the drop goal. And it's such a difficult thing to deal with from a good scrummage. Because the standoff could position where he wants. And really the scrum half. And the open side flanker is the only one who could get close to him. The extra. Hodgkinson. Four penalty goals and a conversion for Simon Hodgkinson. For Gavin Hastings. But offside. Yes, in front. Good, so important, but using the tail, Derek White took it. On to Gray. Out to Chalmers, to Armstrong again. Armstrong to Stanger. Stanger trying to run past Hill. Good tackle by Hill. And we'll... Absolute hush here at Twickenham. And Simon Hodgkinson lines up his kick. Hodgkinson, little stroke again. It's another beauty. And you have to hand it to the lad. Even the pressure of kicking that goal didn't put him off. It was the same relaxed style. There's nine points in it, and they've only five minutes left. Six. Penalty for pulling the scrummage round. Scotts will want to take it quickly. But, of course, Scotland need at least a couple of scores. Once more with 12 points to add to his 65. And that was one of his funny ones, Gus Good. Well, that's almost the highest it is. Not quite over the east stand, but all... Jason Leonard with the drive. Now it's Hill to Andrew, and once again, that searching punt. Rory Underwood is after it. At some lick up there, Gavin Hastings. And he's escaped. Well, almost everybody, Rory Underwood overhauled him inside Scotland's 22. Referee's whistle goes for a penalty. Diving over and killing. Whistle goes for the end of the match. And England have gained a substantial victory. 21 points to 12. Just the one try in it. But there, the congratulations to Simon Hodgkinson and indeed to Nigel Heslop, who did the scoring for England, and undoubtedly Bill, forward power in the second half was the telling factor. Well, without a doubt, it was the sterling work of Wade Dooley, Paul Ackford, Dean Richard in the line-out, and that really set the seal. They, they got good ball, and Hill and Andrew picked the right option. They were prepared to play the ball down into the Scotland half, and it meant that Scotland had to run 70, 80 yards before they actually threatened the England line. And really, it was percentage play that England did, simply because their front five forwards were on top.